a little while ago, on a mailbag, I got this curious little module. I think I completely misinterpreted it as, yeah, I can't remember, but I just, I did get it wrong. And uh, let's get a little bit closer to that if we can. But I think it turns out to be a microphone. And if I can just get the chip there so that everyone can see it. Uh, yeah, so TDA one three zero eight, I guess, and there's some other stuff on there. Ninety three eight five H blah blah blah. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff on there, but I think this thing uh, in the corner is actually a microphone. And so what we should have is VCC and ground and then out. Presumably that's an analog out for sound. So I just proposed to hook this up to an Arduino and maybe just measure the analog out and see if I can also find maybe a library for uh, this module and uh, and see if we if I'm talking here, if we can get some noise out, maybe even hook up to some LEDs. I'm not sure. But first thing is let's solder up uh, some pins, connect up to an Arduino and uh, and see if it works. All right, let's start the Arduino IDE and see what we can find, I guess, first in terms of libraries for this. So if we go to Sketch, Include Library, and Manage Libraries, and what I'm looking for is something involving the TDA1308 on a microphone board, maybe, because often the, the AliExpress ones are copies of Adafruit or something similar. So let's just go TDA1308. And yeah, look, a bit grim. Uh, okay, let's let's just go straight to some analog input and we'll try that. So if we maybe sensor pin, sensor value, that looks fine. Ah, that's interesting. So there's no declaration of the... Maybe you don't need to do it for an analog input, but I'm going to do it anyway because it offends me otherwise. There we go. And sense of value, read it. Oh, the other thing that's not there is we don't have any serial output. So let's do that. Uh, serial begin. And we'll go, I guess, 9600. Seems like a decent board rate. And we read it, and then we probably... I don't know why we need to turn that on. We might just get rid of all the LED stuff. And we could introduce that later. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, let's go down here and we'll go block out all of that. Looks good. And now we'll just, I guess, print it. And... Uh, we'll print the sensor value. I don't think I'll actually print it. I think I'll just throw it up on the screen. But anyway, a little bit of a delay. I don't know, 10 milliseconds maybe. Not really sure how that will go. And we are compiling it for, yep, the Uno. All connected up and go. So we should see that flashing. Yep, it's all done. That was quick. And now all we need to do is to look at the plotter and see what's going on. Oh, it's already responding to my voice. That's nice, let's do a clap. Very good. Uh, what I might do is actually go and get, uh, I will get a guitar uh, because you should get nice, clean notes from that. Uh, I'll just go a little louder. Sorry about the ears there. Uh, maybe I'll try a note. Oh. Uh... Oh, <laughs> yeah, interesting. Uh, I will grab the guitar. I'll be back in one moment. Here we go. I've got an out-of-tune guitar. I'm not sure we really need to tune it for this. But let's start with a top note, G. Oh, look at that decay. That's lovely. 
Um, I might actually try and change it while it's going. Hmm, interesting. Let's go to the next one. Maybe the two together. Third string. Wow. Unexpected. That is lovely. Well, look at that. One goes one way and one goes the other. That's so pretty. Let's try the fourth one. Oh, yeah, that's... That's unique. Back to noise. And all of them. Nice. I wonder. Yeah, that's, that's some pretty stuff. Well, I'm going to call that the circuit working for this week. No, I won't. I actually want to see if I can get it over a certain volume, whether or not we can get the light to flash. All right, let's go code that. So um, we'll need some values. It looks to be around about, if it's loud, uh, can we get over, yeah, look at that. It's peaking at around the 800 mark. So if we can, if we can say, if, if sensor value, is greater than 800 then we need to um hmm, this is going to be interesting we will just turn on the led pin uh else turn it off i guess and then if we can maintain it over there we should see that go on the pin number 13 that is here that should be the onboard one i suspect uh, so if that's over there, else, you could just do it as one line, but we're, we're already here, so let's do it. Else, and then we'll go right at low. Okay, that looks good. And upload that. Uh, what have we got the problem here? Sensor value was not declared in this scope. Have I, oh, I have misnamed that. That's better. Let's try that. Spelling error. Uploading and looks good. And now we just need to keep an eye as we get closer. And we'll just see if we can turn that off or on. I think that should be off to start with. Maybe that's maybe the onboard one isn't pin 13. LED pin outlook, uh, output I should say, digital right pin high, oh, <laughs> sorry for those people screaming at the screen, yes, perhaps we could write it low otherwise, all right, let's see it, yeah, there it goes off, and if I go loud, you can see it, yeah, you can see it going up, oh, beautiful, so you can see that going, um, uh, that on board LED going on. We could actually make this a little, maybe a little lower, make it a bit more sensitive. Let's do that. So, oh yeah, I don't really want to save this. So let's just go uploading. And now it should be a little bit more sensitive and you can see that, yeah, it's flashing in response to my voice as well as a graph. That's fantastic. That is the circuit working for this week. Nice little module. I'm sure it'll find a use somewhere. See you next time.